Steve, Suffolk Sifter. We've just had a really, really good rain, and I mean a really good rain, a nice solid rain, most of the afternoon yesterday. It's going to make ground even better to dig. All my fields have been cut. I'm on this particular field, and the field yonder was uh, I've named Pylon Field, which I found the a Viking horse harness piece. Over here, behind me, is a meadow that's just been cut. I haven't really played with that much. It actually goes right, right up to behind where I live and there's a river there, so I'm just gonna take my chance. I'm gonna have a little wander over the meadow, and then probably have a spin on here because I've had silver on here. And then I've got a nice little favorite field, which has just been cut, which I found the, the strap end on uh, a year or so ago. So I'll we'll have a go on that. So there's too many choices to go on, but it's a lovely day. I'm just gonna crack on. Many thanks once again to my new subscribers, and you, knew, you know who you are. Might not see some of you because you've got your YouTube privacy settings to private, and I can't see your username, but for those I can, your names will be scrolling from bottom to top at the end of the video. Thanks so much, and I really appreciate it. Okay, here we go. I'm on factory setting out of the box six, which is deep. That'll be on 7.8 kilohertz. It's a bit chattery. We've just got to go through this kissing gate here. And uh, there we go, your dog can kill livestock, please keep it on the lead. Yep, they don't do that. Just came from over there to Ha, and uh, there are the poplar trees there. There's one, two, three, four, five, about half a dozen of them. There was about double that, but we had a big storm earlier in the year and that knocked out loads of them. And Sifter Towers is beyond there somewhere. Anyway, I'm on Deep, which is program six, I think. It's quite noisy. Um, Although the meadow's been cut, it's still a good 8 to 12 inches in places. So depth is going to be an issue. So hopefully this deep program will go deeper in 8 to 12 inches. It's noisy. I'm going to crack on. And if I find anything, you'll be the first to know. Thanks for joining me. Oh, look at that. Look, I'm at poplar trees are. And uh, let's say there's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6 here. And you can just see, look at the root on that one. That is massive. That root was just, well, that tree was just blown over, wasn't it? And that high winds we had. So it's a shame for the rooks because uh, there's some nice rooks to get here, a bit of a rookery. Uh, so nice to see them. But I mean, look over here, look. Um, not wanting to invade people's privacy, but there's another one, two, three uh, poplars laying down. Uh, it's just a shame really, lovely old trees and uh, they're no longer with us unfortunately. So that big gap there used to be full of poplar trees. So the rooks will have to double up next year I think. Okay, we've been on this now for about a half three quarters an hour not a heck of a lot to be fair um, it's quite long i can't get the coil down a bit so we're going to give it up i'm going to go over to some uh, stubble on the field over there and then i'm going to move up to my strap end field field which is down the road well, i kind of had a change of heart really after doing that meadow behind me i've just done a quick up and down on this one not a heck of a lot so instead of going to my strap end field i'll save that for another day i'm going to go back on to barnfield the one found the catholic cross and coins and stuff on and that dutch coin because uh, that was so productive next time you see me we'll be there okay well i'm at what i call barnfield and it's the field where i found the cross and the coins and stuff from the video pre holly bobs <laughs> don't know what i'm doing now i'm excited no, I've just come down the lane and I saw a field which was bean stubble um, before holly bobs and it's been sumoed. Oh, it's all flat and crumbly and I don't know what to go on that one, but I said I'd go on this one and I'm torn between two. <laughs> oh. I'm going to go on this one for a bit and then uh, I'm really itching to go back on that. I've never seen that field done like that before. The field over 
behind you has been sumo before. I'm assuming it's sumo. I don't really know. I know what a sumo is and I know what it does, but this is just all flat and crumbly and it could even be rolled. I'm not sure. Um, just hope it's not been planted. Thanks for joining me again and we'll crack on. I'll shut up because I'm, I'm excited and we'll see what we can find. Well, I don't know really what to make of this. It's a, like a solid 71, fairly deep down. And it just looks like a little bit of decorative stuff. Um, shape of a sort of teardrop. If you turn it over, there's two little like sort of um, fingers which are bent over. Look like it's bent around some uh, material, leather or something. So don't really know what to make of that one. Anybody know? Comment below. I've got a nice, this well, just there. It's a, I'm not going to break it open yet, but sort of 72. Um, I must confess, did get a bit excited. I thought it was a hammer coin. I can just see the outline there, but I reckon that's just going to be scrap. Yeah, it looks just a bit like lead. Oh, I shouldn't, I just bent it. So yeah, unfortunately it looked like a coin from that way. Don't even think it's a token now, there's nothing on the back there. So unfortunately just a bit of lead. Got 78 and I've had one of these before, but for life of me, can't remember. Can't remember what it is. Um, it is a coin or a token um, without me eyes on. I can't really see. Um, it's a rose, some sort of rose token or something. I think it's a rose, or it's got like a shield with two on well, no, swords going through it. Anywho, we'll find out when we get back. Right. Good signal in there, could be rubbish. Well, I think we've seen edge something there, looking like a button. Yep, it's going to be a button. It's a four hole button. Did I tell you I like buttons? There you go, four hole button. Trust me on that one. me. One whole moment I thought I was going to have to run naked. I thought it was gold. But it looks like a livery button. I'm just going to have a quick, I mean quick, go on this. I'm, it's almost too good to stand on. <laughs> Sounds funny doesn't it? Anyway, I'm going to use Gary's Ultimate, keep the frequency at 17 kilohertz and have a really brief go because I'm in two minds whether I should really ask before I go on. Because it's uh, it's all light and fluffy. Right, alas, it's very very boggy. It's we've had a really really good rain lately, and uh, it's coming over me welly shoes. <laughs> so I'm going to come on in my wellies. So cut this one short and uh, hit it again uh, after I've got me wellies, and uh, probably check for check for permission as well. Thanks for joining me on a very very brief hunt. But I did find two or three buttons, so that's promising in about ten feet. All good, and we'll come back again when it's a bit drier. Well, yeah, it's a bit of round up, there's me scrap anyway. Um, well, it's a draw handle there. Um, and, well, I just thought it was a bit of lead actually, but um, I'm not quite sure what that is. So I've got some markings on it, some decorative, so I don't know what the heck that was. Uh, shotgun ends, got to dig them. Uh, eye for a tarpaulin uh, down here got a nice buckle probably a horse harness buckle a uh, little I don't know what that is sort of an eye uh, what else buttons got several buttons this I'm guessing could be a pot mend not certain on that and then there's that little um, 
well again I don't know what it is like a little decorative claw but on the back is sort of um, where the it's been bent over to, to into some leather I think there's a button here this was eye eye intact another button there with eye intact uh, this was sort of gilded gold and I thought oh god I've got to strip off and run naked around this field now leaves me three coins not quite sure on that one I've seen one before I've got one I can't remember what it is that's a surface find farthing 1860 and that's goodness knows what that is um, I can't see a date I could just see Britannia on one side excuse the shadows and, and a, a very worn head on the other but all in all not bad not bad for a you know what's gonna I think was be a, a pretty poor day thanks for coming with me if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications of further videos. Thank you so much. Just missed that Spitfire off in the sun.